Hello and welcome to Brutal Gaming. My name is Luke and you're watching me as Brutal Access play StarCraft 2 against my opponent called Hoper, which is currently playing Terran to the north of this particular map and it is a 1v1 map and he seems very enthusiastic indeed. And so what we're going to take a look at is in particular this match in particular obviously it is a very long match as you can quite clearly see however it would be a bit shorter than 42 minutes since this is faster here comes his first supply depot meanwhile my first pylon so I'm not sure how standard I was not sure how standard he was either and I believe he is about to scout me I still haven't figured out how to determine that works what the okay something went wrong there not good at all and of course I see him but that's okay so he's about to scout me and I'm about to scout him oh well, that's good here comes his first barracks and here comes my first gateway as well so not much to be expected right here at the moment no gas for many of us right now no early gas as of yet so however his first gas so Oh, here's my gas and cybernetics core as well. So. I believe, yeah, my gas does get there a bit faster. But, on the other hand, I'm dragging his SCV away from his mineral deposit or his work, effectively. Sooner or later, we'll be getting some stalkers out, I believe. And, I believe, a second gas as well, sooner or later. A few zealots to start with. Uh, he's already got his marine out. Only one marine so far. However, what is he up to? Going for a second barracks, he's got a tech lab in the making right here and two supply depots. He's working on his first refinery here as well, so that will be a small amount of gas income. Looks like he's going to into orbital command. That will only mean one thing. And that would be mules, yep, thought so. gathers a few more resources right there his marine is on the lookout in the meantime I am currently going for early robotics facility that would be for a I believe a preserver and there goes my second gas as well fairly basic I believe right now he's got three barracks so and he's got a reactor on this barracks right here which of course means double what's it called yeah so fairly basic setup right here well almost almost basic got another reactor there so that will also be double making double Sort of, sort of making so he's going to be getting quite the speed for units right now here comes the observer and a second gateway got a sentry coming out from that one no research warp gate has been enabled right now so I would expect that quite shortly and I will probably looking 
toward, or maybe not. I was thinking of maybe looking toward a expansion right here quite shortly, but it seems that's not quite the case right now. And my units are on the move right here. This marine is just standing there and I don't see him whatsoever, which is quite odd. And I'm about to move in with my single stalker. However, he does have a fairly big force there, so I highly doubt that I'll be able to kill him anytime soon. What's going on here? We've got an immortal coming in right here. We've got three gateways and another pylon coming in and the Twilight Council as well. So that is going to potentially mean only one thing. Possibly Blink Stalkers or Charge Zealots. Well, that's two things, not one thing. So we're going to get some immortals out right here. There's the first immortal coming in. And I do have a lot of minerals. So. Here comes the research for the warp gate right there. And no researching on the charge right there. And we've also got a robotics bay coming up. So that is going to mean Colossus. However, warp gate. So, I'm not sure what that could mean right now. He's got 25 SCVs versus 50, 18 probes, sorry. 19 marines, 2 marauders and 2 mules. So, technically he's got 27 units gathering resources versus my 18. Even though, right now, I'm doing fairly good management with my units right here and that warp prism is coming up he's now going for a second expansion as you may notice right here he's got quite a fairly large force there and of course my observer realizes that so that's the second refinery going up right there and we've got a factory here and we've got two starports coming up so that could actually mean banshees and another army at the back right there not another one, what, what am I talking about? Sorry, an armory. And we got an engineering bay, and he is currently upgrading his infantry weapons up to level 1. These starports aren't doing anything as of yet. He's also building siege tanks right here. So he's going to be getting quite a large force up right here. At the moment, I have hardly a force. Sooner or later I will react to this, find out what he's doing, and then go for my second expansion, I would assume. And that's what I did, I pretty much forced his units back in order to try and do some harassment. Didn't do much harassment. Sorry I didn't actually get there in time to actually notice that for you, but uh, there you go. And now what he's currently doing is building anti-air. Nice reaction. Well, we've got two more gateways coming up, so that's going to be a five gateway build. A few more pylons right here. And what did I just say? See? See? What? Where? What? Dark Shrine. Ah, Dark Shrine, right. Right, so that's only going to mean one thing. 
And that's DT's. However, he's now got a sensor tower, which means he can now sense any observers. Strange thing is, he doesn't know where to scan yet. And currently, I can see a lot of Vikings. Well, two medivacs, two Vikings, siege tank, a lot of Marines, and a few Marauders right here. And still mining from that second base. What's this he's researching? He's now currently researching an upgrade for his vehicles and building four more supply depots. And this one is now building a tech lab. That could mean quite heavy, one of those big machine things. Yeah, machine things. This force is nowhere near good enough. And he's just going to continue on building, building, building and building. Clearly. Nothing really being built right here. I haven't got any forges up, which is not so great, which means all of my units are pretty much stuck on low damage and armor and other such things. Another attempt at harassing, but I don't do very well. And I also lose my warp prism at the same time. Not so great. My small force and the second expansion coming up for me very, very late into the game. Very late. However, I would expect quite a bit of more units. Here comes five more stalkers. Still not enough to attack this particular force right here. And he just noticed my observer and killed it, so... Wasn't so great. However, on the other hand... Still making more stalkers. And I really should have gone for quite an early aggression at one point. So he's got two sensor towers up right here. And he's now building more anti-air. Which means it's not going to be all that possible to uh, get any aggressive... It's not all that possible to get aggressive anytime soon. And he is about to mine out of that my mineral field right here. So his second, his first base is not is basically going to run out sooner or later. Right now. He was thinking of moving out, but not so. However, two Colossus right here, and more Stalkers in the making. Currently mining out of my second expansion right here, and still thinking of making more right now. What I'm also researching is Thermal Lance, that's almost done, so that's pretty cool. Still haven't used my Twilight Council for anything. And I have not made any DTs in any way, shape or form, which is kind of odd. There's Marines just moving out for whatever reason, as you do. Seeing if I've expanded to anything secret. And, of course, nothing secret as of yet. Uh, 
And right now, I believe what he's thinking is, what's he doing? How do I react? So, what he's doing is going for a third expansion. So, where is that next command center? I do not know. Oh, wait, he's building it right there. Never mind. So, he's got his SCV right out there. And his large army waiting. Pretty much. Got another, got another observer coming out right here, and that is going to spot that large army right there. It's quite a large force, honestly. It may get detected by any detectors, and yes, it does. And I instantly know how big his army is, so that is not good. And he's got quite a lot of control on this map. Another warp prism coming in, and he's going to see that, unfortunately. Because he does have quite a significant portion of the map. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that... Now, will I be able to deny that base in time? And I believe I'm about to warp in DTs right here. And there we are. DTs are currently being warped in. In an attempt to deny this third expansion right here. And instantly... This is, good. This is a very slow reaction. Very slow reaction. And that base is going to be denied very, very quickly. However, instantly detected, not so great. And now he is finally reacting. However, he doesn't see me. That Dark Templar is... <laughs> going to kill that one. Unfortunately, he still has a very, very large army and that's not going to be enough. Oh my god! And four DTs pretty much wasted. Oh dear. Not so great. However, he's got a third expansion coming out right here. Which he's probably had for quite a while now. Not so great. And my resources are not fantastic. He has quite a large army advantage. Uh, much better economic advantage, hence the 49 SCVs right there. Clearly he's going to win, clearly. He is going to win this particular match. And unfortunately, I'm about to come out right here. And this engagement is not going to be so great. There's that one Colossus is going to die. That, is that second one going to die? We don't know right now, but that Immortal is about to go down as well. It's down right now. However, that Colossus still stands. Attempting to macro, but his forces are so much stronger than mine. so much stronger and so right now what is my reaction to warp in more units however where are the forges I mean his units have got what right now he's got plus one armor however the one thing I'm not seeing is the plus one weapon upgrade. However, we can quite literally fuck. However, 
I am seeing it here. Level 2 infantry weapons, obviously, and level 1 armor weapon. Armor, rather. So, obviously we can see that. He could build Thors if he wanted to, but obviously he's not going for that right now. He's got some Banshees in play, a lot of Siege Tanks, that was probably the reason why my forces were pretty much taken out very quickly. And he's going to restore his army quite quickly. And right now he's moving out with those resources. He's got another Banshee just sitting there doing bugger all basically, as you do. And right now he's got three more star starports coming up, and a huge amount of barracks coming up. Was this his reaction to what just happened? My God, that is insane. That is extremely insane. So he's currently mining from two bases. This base is pretty much mined out. That refinery is gone. But three starports in addition to two starports in his natural. That is insane. So what are these doing? They're currently attaching tech labs right here. Which is gonna mean a lot of either a lot of banshees and he's now currently going for his fourth expansion. Third expansion rather, effectively. since his first is pretty much gone. Strange thing is, he doesn't want to attack just yet. I don't know what he's waiting for. But that army is just massive. That can rip through that very easily. So I'm not sure what he's doing. And of course, my probes are just sitting there doing nothing. Making more pylons as you do. Unfortunately, the problem is not a very high army count. And his army, excuse me, clearly wins over mine. And he is now going for his fourth expansion right here. We've got a DT just doing nothing right there. He could go back in and deny that command center once again, effectively causing him to waste another 400 of his minerals, which is quite a significant amount, considering. But he is sitting on a huge amount of resources. He can make such a massive army benefit from it and then make me pretty much surrender right at the last minute but those barracks and starports are not doing anything was it a waste of money maybe not but he is he has a huge and I mean huge amount of map control right here And that DT has gone down. And that is not going to be denied. So he was forced to go out of position to deal with that DT, unfortunately. But that doesn't necessarily give me enough time to get an army up to match something like this. Because that is just ridiculous. Where will the engagement come in? I'm waiting for the final phase of this particular matchup. And right now, he's looking to mine out of this particular base right here. Planetary Fortress. Fairly defensive. No more DTs on the field, which means he's not going to exactly be 
it's not exactly going to be that much of a huge difference, but still, where's my forces? Is that all I've got compared to what he's got? 89 out of 188, when I can clearly make a lot. I'm trying, but the speed of my gathering is slow. And quite frankly, he's got a lot of map control. Those marines are simply just staying there. What I should really do is try and look to take this expansion right here. But it seems I'm actually not doing that. And maybe this one right here as well, but no, not today. Okay, so now I've got two forges up, which are almost done with the upgrades to level 2. I never actually noticed that. How stupid of me. Another pylon going up there. And now I've got a maximum of 200. So I could gain army advantage, but those stalkers are not going to be enough. And that engineering bay is about to finish up with level 3 infantry weapons upgrade. And that is not going to be good enough to match up against this. He is also upgrading his vehicle and ship upgrades. Which is going to be quite... or rather very very tough to defeat here comes four banshees from him he's currently moving out with his banshees he's also moving out with these banshees over there I believe to try and deny any other expansions however these banshees are now about to drop in on this side And of course, he is about to go in, destroying those pylons as a consequence. And those banshees are now harassing my people, and my reaction was very, very slow. Unfortunately, those will not survive unfortunately and my observer where is it and unfortunately he's doing the same right here as well this is not good not good at all so in a moment I will be moving out and I'm going to lose a fair amount of pylons as a consequence I believe he's attacking the wrong things, those are actually out of gas anyway, but still, problem, those are cloaked, and where's the observer, once again, my reactions are very slow, And my army count is falling dramatically. This nasty engagement has cost me a lot, unfortunately. One observer, not enough. Simply not enough. And that Colossus is sitting on only 54 health. Not so great. And my final engagement will appear very shortly. This is pretty much all I've got left. Two sentries 
a lot of stalkers and a single colossus. This is not going to be enough for this final engagement, but we'll, uh, we are about to find out sooner or later whether this engagement is actually going to cost me a lot. Which it probably will. And he is sitting on so much resources! 11,000! Ouch! I guess he doesn't really need such a huge army. But here comes the engagement. Almost. I sit at the Zelnaga Tower. Oh, I'm now moving. And this engagement is about to be witnessed. This extremely large force against my small army. And here he comes. He is now moving out. Here comes the engagement. The Colossus is taking some damage and it goes down. And now my stalkers are now attempting to fulfill their duty and to try to be as offensive as possible. But his offense and defense is ripping through my offense. And there we go. GG. GG. Thank you for watching. And I shall see you next time.